hey guys, you know what? I've been watching. Uh, let me tell you what I've been watching. And it makes me wistful for a couple of things. Uh, Don Rickles died last week, and you know I know we all probably thought he was just amazingly, screamingly funny. But so uh, you know, you go back to YouTube and you have like all the Don Rickles, Johnny Carson appearances. Mm-hmm. There was there was one show that Don Rickles did <laughs> with Carson, and here was the panel. It was Glenn Campbell, uh, Don Rickles. Dom DeLuise and Jimmy Breslin, and so you're you're oh, watching I love this that panel one. together. Oh my god, I love yeah, that and, one. Yeah, and and they're just like busting each other's chops, like all all five of them with Johnny there, and uh, it's just amazing. Like there's no talk shows like that anymore. Like it's just no. so kind of sitting in somebody's living room, kinda, you know. Yeah, I have a confession to make. Um, at work in the afternoons. That's all I've done for the last two years is watch Don Rickles on The Tonight Show. <laughs> I'm not joking. I mean, that's all I've done. And, I, and I've even done it longer than that. I've done it since really Carson died. and since you, I mean, that's all I, all I do is look for, like, old clips of, like, Don Rickles. Like, I mean, obviously the I love favorite those. one. I love But obviously yeah. one of the, the ones I really loved is when Sinatra was hosting The Tonight Show. And it's him... Uh, it's Don Rickles, George Burns, Angie Dickinson, and Carol O'Connor, of course, Ed McMahon, who he just says, Ed, I never liked you. Um, <laughs> but that, if you ever get a chance to watch that one, when he comes out, it's just classic. Oh, my God. Um, and there's one there's one where Don Rickles uh, was, a, uh, well, Denzel Washington was the guest on Letterman. And then Don oh, Rickles yeah, yeah. was coming out af- a- after Denzel Washington. And Denzel Washington cause, uh, wanted to stick around. And sit next to Don Rickles, which doesn't happen on Letterman or really any talk show outside of Graham Norton and James Corden nowadays. But, uh, uh, so, so, and and Don Rickles has no idea why Denzel Washington's still out there. <laughs> he sits down next to Denzel. He's like, "What are you still doing out here? Are they keeping you around to clean up or something?" <laughs> God. Oh man, it's so great. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I just thought he was immortal to say, you know, I just didn't think he was ever going to go. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm sad about it, but he left so much great stuff behind. Um, yeah. 90 years old. And he was, the, he's really the last, almost the last of his kind, you know, from that era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. And, and almost like a uh, like an honorary member of the Rat Pack in some ways, you know. Like uh, so, he, yeah. he definitely be uh, definitely also, you know. Shirley MacLaine was part of the Rat Pack too, so uh, he's yeah. still around. Yeah, yeah. But uh, um, uh, yeah, it's a it's a dying breed. Of course, did you know? Uh, did you know that Shirley MacLaine was almost. Uh, Almost played the Zelda Rubenstein part in Poltergeist. That that's what she was offered that part. Oh my mm. god! Yeah, it's interesting. Which that would have made perfect perfect sense, but it it would have played like a lampoon of itself, in a way. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing how she believed in past lives and that kind of thing. But she said no to it. She got bad vibes about it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, I have to bring out my uh, Don Rickles story of running into him at the casino Uh-oh. press jacket. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> we, yeah, I think you guys have heard it, but in case the people out there haven't heard it, it's short. So I'm just waiting to go into an elevator at the Plaza Hotel at the casino press jacket in 1996. And uh, all of a sudden behind me, a whole bunch of people show up. One of them is Don Rickles. And one of them is the late uh, film, film critic, Joel Siegel. And as we're piling into the uh, elevator, Joel Siegel turns to Don Rickles and starts to tell him how great he thought he was in the movie. And then Don Rickles, says, as the door is closing and everything, and uh, Don Rickles says, ah, no one cares what you think, you judgmental fuck. <laughs> and then the whole... <laughs> and then the whole... <laughs> 
the whole elevator erupts in the laughter. That's <laughs> great. Joel I love Siegel, it. Siegel, of course. So, <laughs> but uh, oh. that is, uh, of course, you know that was, that was enough <laughs> for me. I mean, you know, uh, that was crazy. But um, yes, that actually happened. Can I just say this? He had quite a movie career. He really. did. He really did, actually. Um, I mean, when you go back and take a look at some of his early stuff, like, uh, you know, uh, things like um, Run Silent, Run Deep, you know, uh he's he's in that. Uh, And things like, uh, um, you know, uh, well, I mean, not a lot of great stuff, but he was in a lot of some of those beach party movies and – and uh, you know, like Beach Black and Bingo, and so forth. He was in Kelly's and, uh, Heroes. I mean, he was well. In Kelly's, Kelly's Heroes is the next big thing. Yeah, he, he really I mean, worked well in 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 war movies. I think. Yeah, uh, he seemed like he was part of that world. Um, <clears throat> and I I think he was. I mean, he was a war veteran. So, yeah. uh, but um, uh, and then of course Casino, uh, well, like, and. Which he was fantastic in, and really holds mm-hmm. his own uh, against the Casino and amazing. Toy Story in the same year. Yeah. You know? yeah, that was a good year. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was a great year for him. I mean, just those those kinds of things, you know. And then, uh, of course, you know his appearances on countless TV shows as guest as guest star, you know, on things like you know uh, Andy Griffith Show or. Uh, 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 even uh, Gober Pile and and things like that. Uh, right. Uh, what? Uh, I mean, the the, the most successful joke show. Was it? Yeah, he did. Which which with, wasn't really his Steve thing. Allen? I mean, he had Steve, or Steve Lawrence. Steve Lawrence. Um, practical jokes. The most success that he had on TV was on the Tonight Show, because he. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and he didn't even understand. He just could not get a TV show to to run for very long. He had so many that they tried to do to put together for him. But you know, it's hard to it was hard to harness that kind of energy in a scripted show, you know. Yeah, I, I think he worked, and also, also there's just something about him. I think he worked better when he's doing his comedy. He works better at a shorter interval uh, than you know than uh, you know thirty minutes. I don't know. It, it's just uh, to me to me, uh, you know. Uh, you know, twenty minutes is a good period time period for for Tom Rickles, and then you might get a little right, a little right. worn out yeah, by I mean, it. Uh, you know, I mean, he made his he made his living off of stand up, which was at least an hour. I mean, that's, yeah, that's no, but shows. an hour, you know, <laughs> you know, that's that's okay. And then, and then you know, and then the next time you see him is another year later or something. <laughs> but uh, you know, well, I, I, I guess. But let's not forget the roast. He was the art. I mean, talking about someone who was no one roasted people like Don Rickles. I mean, yeah. those were classic. And I mean, you guys, not just in the night show, but if you've never seen any of the celebrity roasts, I mean, they're classic. Oh my God! No one does that. Do that. You know who makes no me one. die laughing on, on those roasts? Uh, the funniest to me has always been Foster Brooks. Oh yeah! Uh, oh God! Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> just as he was the guy that always played drunk, that was his act. Yeah, uh, he was just brilliant, brilliant at it. 